Hello, today I'm going to show you how to install the Minecraft Comes Alive mod for Minecraft. So if you want to go to install that, you need to first download the files and you're going to find those on the the main forum page for Minecraft Comes Alive. So just Google search for Minecraft Comes Alive, but I'll, I'll also post the link in the description. It's on the Minecraft forum, just search for that. So you need to download the mod. First you need to then scroll down and uh, find a section where it says downloads just here and what you want to download is the latest version for Minecraft 1.2.5 just click download MCA version 1.4.1 and that will then download a zip file onto your computer. Now if you see here all versions require mod loader so you'll need to source that yourself and download that so to get that you need to also then google for minecraft mod loader and you're going to come across risigami's mods so this is also on the minecraft forums so come on here and scroll down this is a list of all of his mods that he does uh, but you want to come to the top one mod loader 1.2.5 and just download either direct link or adfly so you want to download that, that will also then give you a zip file here. So you can see I've got mod loader and Minecraft comes alive 1.4.1. So just extract those and you'll get your, your files here. Uh, what you want to do is you want to make sure that your Minecraft install is a fresh copy. So delete all your files and re-download it if you must. But you need to then go if I search app data, here we go. Now, the to get to your app data, it's usually in your your C directory, users, then your name, and then app data. So go into roaming and then into your .minecraft folder, and you will come across this, which is your fresh install. Uh, you want to go into your bin file and open up .minecraft with your WinRAR or your 7-zip. So open that up and you want to delete your meta-inf file. If you don't do that then you'll just black screen. So delete that and then you want to first install your mod loader. So open up your mod loader file and see all of these class files. Copy all of those and then paste those into your dot jar. I'm just going to use control V. There we go. So paste all those in and those will all be in there nicely. You can then come out of that once you've made sure you've deleted the meta int file. And that's mod loader installed. What you need to do is you need to head back to your main dot minecraft folder and create two more folders. One called mods and another one called config because if you go into your minecraft comes alive folder now you've got three different folders place contents into minecraft jar and place contents into config folder and place contents into mods folder so open up the mods folder and you'll see mod mca as a zip file don't extract it keep it as it is and copy that and then paste that into your mods folder. Head back out of there and go into your config folder and copy this whole MCA folder Control C, Control V quite a large file but place that into your config file that you've just created. And then that do its thing and there we go. So then the last thing you need to do is all of this, which same again as what you did before with installing mod loader. Open that again with your WinRAR or your 7-zip and go back to this. So copy the classes and the MCA folder and paste all of that into your minecraft.jar. So that shouldn't take too long, copying all that across. 
and there you go, you've got all the files in your Minecraft jar, you've got your mods in your config folder created and the relevant files in there and then that is ready to go. You can close all of that down and then launch your Minecraft. So if I log in, I'm just going to show you that it should work with any luck. So I'm going to go single player, create new world. Uh, I'm going to use this seed which will give me a NPC village. I'll also put this in the description. This is the one that Dave Chaos uses in his video to spawn you right next to an NPC village. So just create that world and we will just double check that it works. There we go, so you can see straight away the MCA mods working. And if we just head over to one of the NPCs, we just double check that they're responding back to us. Not that one, he never talks. There we go. So you can see the, the mods now working properly. So there we go. Thanks for watching and I'll do another one soon.